Dear friends, right now I am standing right in front of the three-storied building of the professed house, the Basilica of Bom Jesus. Bom Jesus simply translated into English as the infant Jesus, the good Jesus. On the other side of this building, at the transaction, you can see two more churches. The right side, you can see Se Cathedral, the largest church in the in Goa, and on the left side, you can see a church dedicated to Saint Francis of Assisi. Coming back to this particular church, you can see the influence of Ionic, Doric, and Corinthian style of architecture. The influence of all these three architectural styles you can see in Basilica of Bom Jesus. This church was dedicated to Bom Jesus, and the most important aspect of this church is its altar. Its altar reflects the image of Saint Ignatius of Loyola. And uh, again, I am showing you the other two churches that we are going to visit after visiting this church. And now, let me take you inside the church. Once you go inside, you see the Baroque style main altar is gilded and bears the statue of Ignatius of Loyola, standing between Solomonic pillars above which is the name of Jesus in the IHS monogram and the Holy Trinity is mentioned. You can see the beautiful intricate woodwork and uh, once we get inside we see the beautiful woodwork and the on the main altar you can see the image the statue of Saint Ignatius of Loyola who was a dear friend of Saint Francis Xavier whose mortal remains are also kept in this church only. After having a look at the entire beauty, the exterior of the church, we will move towards the casket where the mortal remains of St. Francis Xavier is kept. He died sometime in 1552 in China and later on his mortal remains were brought back to Goa and now it is kept in a casket and every 10 years it is displayed to the public last time it was displayed in 2016 and you can see the intricate woodwork the solomonic pillars of the church and uh, yes this is the holy casket the relic of saint xavier i was talking about you can see the intricate pillars the solomonic pillars and every 10 years this particular casket is kept for the public viewing last it was in 2016 when it was kept outside of the church for public viewing and you can see the images and the statues related to the entire history of Christianity and the life of Jesus Christ and the events associated to him as I have already discussed this particular church is you can see Jesus drenched in blood and other important images you can see the image of saint francis xavier whose relic whose mortal remains you have just now seen and uh, moving from here there is there is a library there is a display room a museum type of a room on the first floor where you can see the entire history of the saints who contributed in many ways in the spread of Christianity so the, whether it is the Franciscan order or the Jesuit order or for that matter any other order Augustinian order whichever order they have contributed richly to the legacy of Christianity and their history is displayed on the first floor and coming out of the this uh, church now I can show you again the Corinthian the Ionic and the Doric style of architecture and uh, moving towards the other parts of this entire cluster of churches I will take you to uh, the church of Saint Francis of Assisi and the Say Cathedral the popular majestic magnificent Say Cathedral so you can see the entire cluster of buildings 
that were dedicated to this particular site the building was initially decided to be constructed sometime around 1594 the completion of its uh, structure was achieved sometime around 1615 and uh, thereafter it became a very important site for the visitors especially the christians all across the globe it is a very important rich heritage of velha goa old goa the portuguese goa and uh, you can see the cluster the the architectural style and uh, the baroque baroque style that has been used in the construction of this building and moving towards uh, the church of saint francis of assisi we will discuss other important aspect of velha goa now while moving towards saint francis of assisi let me give you a brief introduction of the church it is to the west of say cathedral and it used to be the former palace of archbishop that connects say cathedral to the convent and the church of saint francis of assisi now i'm moving towards there the structure is built of laterite blocks and is lime plastered the church faces west and has a nave with three chapels on either side a choir two altars basilica of in the trans transept and a main altar to the north of the main altar is a belfry and a sacristy the convent which forms an annexer to the church now houses asi museum the exterior of the church is of tuscan order while the main entrance is in the manuelist style the main altar is baroque as it was the case with uh, the church of st francis uh, bomb jesus the main altar is baroque with the corinthian features we have seen the corinthian features in uh, bomb jesus church also there are no aisles but only a nave which is rib vaulted the internal buttress walls separating the chapels and supporting the gallery on top have frescoes you must understand what is a fresco fresco is a painting uh, done on walls showing intricate floral designs in a niche on the facade stands a statue of saint michael on the main altar church of saint francis of assisi you can see uh, one of the chapels once contained the statue of our lady of miracles brought from jaffna in sri lanka a wooden statue of saint francis of assisi adorns a pedestal bearing the insignia of the franciscan orders order a wooden pulpit richly carved with floral designs is to the left as one enters beneath the ribbed vault with frescoes showing floral decorations is the main altar which is gilded and has a richly carved niche with a tabernacle supported by four evangelists thank you